when I go camping, I'll always take a, a hammock instead of a tent because I like to travel light. Uh, I like to bring as little as possible, uh, not because it's cool, but because I don't want to carry around all that stuff. So I used to take a tent everywhere, but with the poles and everything, it's it's heavy, it weighs up, and uh, a hammock is way easier. The thing is, it only works if you have trees around or some sort of system to hang it. Uh, in my case, I'm always in a forest, so uh, for me that's not a problem. I've chosen a Hennessy hammock because I have tested a couple of them uh, and I am a side sleeper. I sleep, sleep on my side. So uh, most hammocks have a straight design like this, if you see it from above, like a banana. Uh, and if you lay on your side in that banana then it crumbles around you it's really really annoying it doesn't sleep nice so what the Hennessy hammock has is uh, how can I say it like it has a, a, a shape like this so and that's the little orange things you see under here it pulls the two sides to uh, to the outside that's why it has uh, a wider sleeping area in the middle that doesn't bend in all the way because you can reassure it with the with the wire at the, at the at the ground so then you can sleep on your side for me that's a game changer that's awesome another thing that it does and you don't see it so well now because i have the tarp over it but i can show you it pulls the the uh, the side down and i have the tarp over it now facing downward but I usually to put one side of the tarp up um, to make it more like a roof instead of a, a tent so uh, and then you can see what happens around you so I've been woken up by squirrels by deer by all sorts of uh, sorts of birds and stuff like that is really cool so because you can look from under it and it pulls the side down you have a broader view uh, outside of the hammock and that gives you a sensation of being way more a part of the of the forest and that that for me uh, those two things made me want to buy a, a Hennessy hammock they're not cheap I think I paid like 350 euros for this so um, that is not cheap this is I think the most expensive uh, model but I use it a lot uh, the, the cheaper ones um, have, the, have the same uh, asymmetric design as they call it so for the, for that part you don't you don't need that uh, if you just go out in summer you don't need this fancy expensive one because it, the only thing it has different is um, well it has some small differences probably but the biggest difference that I have uh, noticed with the, um, uh, the I think it's Scout is the other one called or something like that it's the lighter model um, the biggest difference is that this one has a padding in, in, the, in the bottom and the padding is nice because uh, the coldest thing in winter is not so much the outside temperature but it's the wind and the wind breaks uh, on, the, on the padding and the padding stops the wind uh, so you don't get so cold because with uh, temperatures around freezing uh, it's not very comfortable in a hammock if you have, have, if you have not um, if you don't have padding in it so uh, that's why I chose this one uh, it comes with a padding so it comes with a, some sort of foam padding um, which is okay but you can put whatever you want in there and you don't even have to carry something extra you could just put your jacket in there which you already have you know um, so uh, that makes it a lot warmer and considering that you probably chose a jacket that is warm because you're gonna uh, hike with it to your camping destination it is a, a jacket that is a wind breaking jacket it is stopping rain uh, snow whatever it keeps the element out when you're wearing it so it will also do the same thing when you put it into the paddock uh, it's really easy to put in there it has some uh, attachments in it so you can stretch it depending on your jacket you could do that with your jacket too um, that being said I will uh, open one side of it so we can see 2000 years later 
So, another cool feature about these, uh, this hammock is I always get sick of the wires going everywhere. Well, you can just roll it up, of course, and uh, make a knot in it or something and just let it hang there. What these ones have is, and it's, it's genius, it's super simple, but they have a little pocket in every corner where you can put the wire in. And that's, for me, that, uh, that's a big deal. Uh, I love that. I'm gonna open this side also and do the same thing. So, so what do we got here? Uh, first of all, mosquito net. If you go camping in Sweden, uh, where I live, so I go camping in Sweden all the time. As soon as you come anywhere near a lake or something like that, it's gonna be filled with mosquitoes and you're gonna hate it. And right now, I don't know if you see it, but I got stung in my ear. Yeah, it's red, you see? I got stung in my ear uh, like four times just hanging this thing. So the last thing you want is being in bed in your hammock <laughs> sleeping with a bunch of mosquitoes around you. You don't want that, trust me. Uh, well, you know. So, a mosquito net is essential. This is one that is integrated in it. Um, genius part about it, and uh, more than just this brand, hammocks have it, but um, this one has it also, is the wire on the inside. So, the mosquito net is pretty much a free hanging net, so it's loose. Which is nice, because if you open it all the way up, like that, and here also, you can use it sort of as a chair and just enjoy the view, right? So that's, that's nice. Um, that being said, this wire is uh, perfect for a lot of reasons. You have uh, some hooks hanging there. You can put a light on there, a lamp, or I put my uh, flashlight on it. You got two, two pockets, a small one and a big one. I usually put my power bank in it, uh, in one and put my phone in the other and uh, put my essentials like a knife or something like that in there. Um, and that's just uh, because I like it. I like to have a knife close by because there's wolves here and they're not gonna come and they're afraid of humans and I know all that stuff, but I like to, <laughs> to just have something like that because it feels a little bit exposed when you're in a hammock. Well, that, that makes sense, so I keep it there, so you don't have to lay on it or in it or something like that, because that's really annoying. So, um, to get in it, you just sit on it, like every hammock, I think, and it bends through, whoop, and there you go, and it's really comfortable to just sit like this, like a king, you know? So, uh, yeah, that's perfect. That being said, I, I hang it pretty low, as you see. Uh, I like that, um, but that's a, that's a personal thing. I like the ease of getting in and out of it. Uh, some people like to hang it higher because it gives the feeling of more safety or something. Well, power to you, go for it. That being said, you can close it. I like to keep it there. Uh, when it's open, you can see the shape really well, right? So, it goes out in that direction and in that direction. So, however you lay, and believe me, it makes a big difference, you can lay with your head to that side or lay with your head to that side. For me, I lay with my head to that side because my knees are going that way and I usually sleep on that side. Sometimes in the middle of the night I want to turn around and it feels a bit off, I just put my head on the other side and I sleep like a baby again. So, but again, that's a personal thing, right? So, whatever you want. What I don't like about this hammock, and some people say it's a unique feature that will help a lot, uh, is the color. I like to blend into the forest when I go uh, sleeping. Uh, I wanna, I'm like a, a little bit of a stealth camper, I like the idea of that. Um, for animals it doesn't matter, uh, deer are colorblind, well at least for orange and red, so they don't see the, that's why tigers are orange and hunters wear orange camouflage, so you can see, we can see each other but uh, deer cannot see that color. 
uh, just a fun fact if you will <laughs> but for uh, if you go um, and you get lost in the forest some people say well, this is great you got a big orange sheet with you that stands out uh, against pretty much every environment for humans so um, they're gonna find you easily makes sense uh, I don't like it so much I this is the original tarp that comes with it it's a really high quality tarp which also has the little pockets for the uh, for the wires in it so uh, all perfect it has an uh, an orange line around it uh, I don't like that so much but that's just the color and that's a concession I was willing to make uh, because all of the benefits I got for it so um, yeah those are the most important things about it um, in Sweden I don't know if you uh, if that's the same way where you go camping so check it but um, here it is illegal to go camping in a hammock without using um, tree huggers and tree huggers are like I have them here are like seat belts for around the tree it's it's it looks like a seat belt and that's where you put the nylon wire through because uh, otherwise it hurts the tree it cuts into the tree so uh, that's a way to protect the tree and I think that's a good rule it's uh, they they came with this model uh, and they probably come with most of the models at Hennessy so um, yeah I, I like that a lot I think it's a good idea um, the um, tarp is attached to the to the line to the main line with uh, a special knot that you can tighten so you loosen it up then you tighten the hammock and then you re-tighten the, um, the the tarp and you can see it's really tight so it works really well another tip if you uh, would hang a hammock um, and you want to know the angle that you should hang it in it's about five or six meters apart the trees uh, that's how how much space uh, you could uh, you could you could take I like to take about five meters so five big steps and then I make sure I hang it in this angle so if this is the tree and uh, you, the other tree is there then I want the wire to when when the hammock is hanging the wire to be in this angle so I literally hold my hand to the tree and I see if that's the angle of the wire then it's most comfortable in my opinion so uh, that's a little rule of thumb that I use that I uh, uh, that is really helpful for me wait rule of thumb uh, because I've had it too tight which sucks I had it too loose which also sucks uh, because then your ass is on the ground and your feet are in the in the air and you're like your blood is flowing everywhere and that's not not comfortable at all so uh, yeah that uh, that is the most important things uh, a little other thing and I will move the camera a little bit for that I hope it doesn't fall yeah so we can talk a little bit about that these don't come with uh, with the hammock like um, standard uh, let me zoom in a little bit so you can get a better view so perfect this is what they call snake skins this is a uh, this is from Hennessy from the same brand uh, I got them for free with it but I think it was some special deal or something maybe maybe it's always there I don't know uh, look at your dealer I'm not sponsored by uh, Hennessy in any way uh, shape or form so this is just my experience with this hammock because I like this hammock and the way it uh, the way it works um, so uh, look at your prices or whatever I don't have a link in the description and if I do then that means that I found an affiliate link and I get paid if you buy it from there so <laughs> if there's a link use it uh, for now I don't have one that being said a snakeskin the use of it is um, if you go away from the hammock and you want to conceal it you can put this skin around the whole hammock and the cool thing with the hammock um, 
with the with with this model that even with the padding in there so i'm not talking about the jackets or whatever i i said earlier but the original um uh padding you can roll it up and put this snake skin as you see all around the whole hammock so you can make a whole just a tube out of it if you've done that you can hang it you can le let it hang in the tree you can let it hang like that it's not gonna stick out as much so uh, as I said I paid uh, three, about 350 euros for this one so I don't want it to get stolen and in Sweden you can I've left my GoPro on a hiking trail and uh, done all those kind of things uh, they don't steal here so much but uh, it does happen and I don't know where you <laughs> where you live so uh yeah so there we go okay so um that being said i think we covered pretty much this uh hammock a couple of things i maybe a uh, couple of things that are interesting that i also want to show you is uh, how to secure the lines because uh, if you as, as I said, I don't want to bring stuff, so I, I want to travel as light as possible and uh, I make my poles to stick them in the ground uh, as I go, so I have a little tip about that. Let me get a tip. So, here's the stick, the stick I used break off a piece it's really funny I've been on a uh, I take people on survival courses in the forest and I've had people look for sticks in the forest and they said yeah I couldn't find the right <laughs> the right one uh, yeah we have a saying in the Netherlands do the bowman a boss need machine uh, maybe I think it's also in English like you don't see the forest because of the trees well that's pretty much literally what can happen sometimes okay what I do is I make one side a little flat just work your way around it like this okay then the other side I want to make a, a, an, an edge on it so it goes into the ground easily. And for people who say I hold my knife strange, I do. I know this is one of the safest way to put, to apply a lot of pressure on a knife. because it always goes outwards you hold it, you hold the knife like this so not like this when you would do it like this you hold it like that so with the edge under there and you put your arms like that put them against your chest and put some pressure on it like that and then just uh, they say like a chicken and you pull it apart that way, when the knife goes uh, rogue, if it goes <laughs> all directions, it would go this way. It go always go that way. You see, it would not hit your face or any vital body part or whatever. So it's a very safe way of doing it. So now we got this thing, yeah, and you can slam it in the ground with a stone or something like that. But uh, sometimes the wire slips off, and that's really annoying. So what I do is. I put little cuts like that and then put a little chips like that and just work your way around it you don't have to do it so neat it's it's not you're not gonna unless you want some Instagram shoot of it or whatever <laughs> uh, which is the reason why some people go camping I feel like but uh, yeah it is on so in my opinion it doesn't have to look great it has to be functional 
So, I got it off camera there, sorry for that. But uh, yeah, you get the picture. And then you put the wire around it and it stays in there. So it tightens because of the tension on the, on the, on the hammock. And you just slam it in there. And sometimes I put it a bit lower and then you slam the wire into the ground with the with the stick so uh, just a little tip that's how i make them when i go and this someone someone like this because i i like this one a lot uh, uh no, not really but uh if i like one a lot then i sometimes carry them around if i sleep in different places then i carry them around and uh Otherwise, uh, when I leave the, the site for, for home, heading home, I'm gonna leave them there or burn them or whatever. Um, yeah, so that's uh, are the main reasons why I chose to get this Hennessy hammock. And um, I'm really happy with it. I've got it for about a year now and I, I use it quite a lot. Uh, I spray it in every once in a while with this... Uh, um, with the stuff that makes it uh, waterproof. You don't have to, but I, I, I do. I like the idea of that. Take a little bit care of it. Uh, and in winter, I hang it out in the barn. Uh, same thing when, it, when I endured rain, uh, because you don't want to put it in, especially with the snakeskins, you don't want to put it in like, uh, like that and <laughs> when it's wet. So uh, you're gonna get uh, stains in it, uh, mold maybe even well all of those things it sucks um, yeah so um, another little thing to, by the way if I uh, if I'm talking about it anyway if you take the bark off it and I don't do usually do it because my wires are orange which I don't like but it, they are but like this uh, it sticks out more in the on the ground so you don't step on it or fall over it. Trust me, everybody who's been camping in a hammock has, has been there. Um, yeah, that being said, this is the hammock from Hennessy. Survivor Man is the type. And um, why I use it. Hope you liked it. And I uh, see you on the next video where I'm probably going to show you a little bit more about camping and surviving and those kind of things. Uh, next to the usual videos of course okay see you later thanks for watching and if you like this and want to see more put it in the comments uh, what you would like to see more what kind of survival tips or uh, whatever uh, and I'll uh, if there's more people that like it uh, you can also send me uh, a message on social media or something whatever but uh, then I'll make them because I like doing it and if you like watching it then we got a deal okay hey though see you